What's going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ here. Um, I've done unboxings for these things. I thought I would come in and do a review of them because my review game is not that strong. So this is an effort to do that. So you just got to roll with me on it. But hey, little girl. All right. So we did the unboxing for the um, Avatar Mix phones. Um, and this is the follow up for those. I love, love, love these girls. Now, I have to let you know that they're heavy. I also have to let you know that they are not really for DJing. I repeat, if I didn't repeat that during the unboxing, they are not for DJing. They are for mixing and mastering. They are for studio work. Um, I love them. The reason why I love them is they are true to sound. When I say true to sound, I mean that in the greatest way ever. When I first put them on and simply listened through um, my sound card, and the sound card would be the Tascam 202, US 202, um, it felt and sounded like I was listening to a live band playing. Like everything was separated. I could visualize the tracks in Logic when I was simply listening to one of the DJs on our um, Twitch channel. Simply listening to the DJ, but it, I could hear all of the separations between the instruments. These are amazing. They're clear, they're clean listening, and you can hear and clock the imperfections. That is important to note. The price point for these girls, um, if I'm not mistaken, is around $229, maybe $200, and then they're shipping. Um, if you're interested in mixing and mastering, if you're doing any editing work, whether that be um, for audio projects or audio and video projects, I most certainly can recommend the Avatone Mix Phones. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if they have these lovely cream ones anymore. Um, I was, I hunted for the cream ones. Um, and you can, if you, if you search, you might be able to find them on B and H photos. Otherwise you're going to end up with the gray and the silver ones. And I wanted these because they're a little more feminine. So those are wonderful headphones for mixing and mastering. Um, that would be studio work, production work, editing work. Love these girls. So we're doing a, a three for one today so I can get it knocked out. The Harmon Carden Soho Wireless Phones. Now, I cannot say enough about these girls. Cannot say enough about them. The reason why I cannot say enough is because... They sound amazing. These are headphones for, for whatever you're doing as a general listener. Whatever you're doing as a general listener. Um, for pairing with your phone, for um, listening at home. If you want to just listen at home from your computer, you can pair them because they're wireless Bluetooth um, headphones. You can listen to them wherever you're traveling, wherever. That's the reason why I purchased them. Number one, because I'm not driving right now. So I want to be able to listen to some music or something when I'm on my travels, walking and things of that nature, as well as listening to whatever I'm listening to. You understand what I'm saying. Um, the bass is nice and warm. The mids and the highs, it's a clean sound. They're sleek um, looking, most certainly. Um, all of the controls for these headphones are actually on the unit. There's like, I haven't even figured it out yet. <laughs> but there's like a touch touch that you do to play. There's a slide that you do to turn the volume up and down. Um, you can use these. They have a microphone on them. So you can use these as your phone for your phone wireless headphone slash um everything i love them 
not complaining. I found out that a buddy of mine got his from the Apple store, and I think he probably paid about $169. I got these girls off of eBay. I paid $59.99. <laughs> Love them. Love them. Love them. That's it. The, the pouch, everything. Nothing bad to say about these. I listen to these in the tub because I just... When I'm in the zone and, you know, things of that nature, I just, I take my headphones in there. And I mean, you know, music is on in my space. But if I want to direct sound and I, or I want to check a DJ out and want make sure that his sound is direct in terms of spinning on our channel or something like that, I definitely listen through these when I'm in other parts of the house or not at home. Right? All right. So those are the Harman Kardon wireless, Soho wireless. That's that. So to add a little flavor to the funk, I thought I would bring in the Isinkin. Now the Isinkin is a wonderful way to pair analog devices to Bluetooth, right? So say for instance, some of my Jedi's who are analog DJs who only, you know, DJ with a, um, a mixer and for lack of better words, turntables. Um, if you have no way to be able to listen to your sound from your phone or your computer and you want to integrate, you should get one of these. If you have only a phone or a tablet, you don't have a stereo system and you're trying to stream from Spotify to YouTube to Twitch to Mixcloud, your favorite DJs. If you only have a phone or you only have a tablet or you only have a computer and you don't have a full um, Bluetooth system, you might have a few speakers around the house or whatever and they don't have Bluetooth capability, you might want to get one of these. It's the dopest shit ever. Um, and of course, because I do my research as a as a, a gadgeteer, as a nerd, and of course as a DJ and, and producer and things of that nature, I try to get things at a reasonable price. And this was probably about twenty four dollars on Amazon. The first one that I got, because I have two of them, the first one that I got was, I think it was like nineteen bucks on eBay, and I don't know what happened to it. All I know is it's not pairing correctly, and it could be. It could be something, you know, with my uh, interface because I'm still struggling a little bit with my Mackie interface. But as far as I understand, I just decided to go ahead and update because I do have moments when I want to listen to my devices, my um, phone, and I want to pair it to my house system so I, that I can hear it at my desktop and I can hear it over on the other side with my DJ controller and um, where I stream from. If I'm doing that, I'm using this. So I'm just giving you a run through of the unboxing as well. So the Asyncan is a Bluetooth audio adapter. That's what it's called. Um, tablets, computers, simply, easily capable of integrating. They didn't even put anything to read on here, honey. It's just pictures. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the little device. And the device has an RCA input. Those would be female, for those of you who need to know the difference. See the female? That's the girl. <laughs> and then there's, of course, the auxiliary. So if you have an eighth inch to a, a anything, so if you're going eighth inch uh, out to, say, your Mackie Big Knob, eighth inch to quarter inch out you would want to put in there or if you want to go RCA to whatever you can do that here auxiliary and your RCA cords and then of course the power cord because this doesn't work without electricity let's get in the box so this is of course your traditional RCA to eighth inch. Some people call it the aux cord. 
So auxiliary cord. I don't like I don't like the ox term necessarily. People are like put it in your ox. It's a eighth inch. to RCA cord specifically. Yep. So that's that. And of course, that's either going to go it's it's going to go here. And you're going to take this and you're going to put this in your um your RCA of your mixer or your RCA input of your amp or your RCA inputs on any device that you're streaming sound from. This is going to go into that and you're going to string and the sound is going to come out of it, right? This is the power cord that goes with it. And most certainly this goes right there. I hope you can see that. And of course you want to plug it up. So once you get it plugged up and you get everything connected, then you just press this button. And what's going to happen is you're going to go to your little device. And you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to Bluetooth and it's going to come up. So I got a bunch of stuff in mine and none of these are it because I deleted the other one, but it's going to come up in your Bluetooth situation. You're going to press this button. You should hear like a noise, like a doo 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 when it's syncing and it's going to go doo doo when it's unsync. So that's how you know it's there. And then you're going to simply connect, hit connect on your screen. It's going to find it. It's going to be blinking and boom, your phone will be connected to whatever analog stereo system you might have. Nothing, nothing for 24 bucks on Amazon, just a little nothing and a lot because we do have people who don't have, um, Bluetooth who may not have the finances to be able to purchase a Bluetooth speaker system or what have you. And you need options to listen to these DJs that stream on all these lovely, um, live streaming situations currently. That is the reason why these are in play as well, because I thought it would be a good idea to do a review for folks who, um, don't necessarily have money to buy a full stereo system with Bluetooth or, you know, if, if you live with someone and you need to listen and you don't want to have the house um, angry with you because they're doing other things, you can get some really expensive um, pieces of equipment. Inexpensive. These are expensive normally, but I found a deal. So that's what's up with that. Just want to go come in and start like etching away at more content. Um, and things of that nature. I'm testing out some equipment. Um, I'm testing out some different angles and stuff like that. And I just wanted to make sure um, to update my channel while I'm doing that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for today as it, it pertains to um, the Avatone mix tones, mix tone mix phones, as well as the Harman Kardon uh, Soho wireless joints. And of course the Isinkin, Isinkin, Isink, Isink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the Isinkin because I just I when I discovered this device last year, um, when I got here in Atlanta, I was just like, oh, I was so stoked about it. I was stoked about it. I was like, oh my god, because I'm not trying to like I have two sets of monitors. I don't need to be buying a separate wireless Bluetooth situation. I don't need it. Now, if I go, that's not true. I might need it if I go to the park or something like that. But as it stands, I'm not kicking it. So I don't need it. So just having this to be able to pair it so that I can integrate what, you know, if I'm laying on the bed or something like that and I just want to go boom, 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 I can do that. Um, watching YouTubes from the bed, don't want to get up, boom, 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 I can do that. I love it. I love gadgets. It's Fathom DJ live and direct from the city of ATL. Once again, um, just checking in and giving you a little gadget review. That's what we're going to call this one. 
Cosmic Kisses. You can find me in your worldwide webosphere at FindingFathomDJ.com as well as the hashtag of FindingFathomDJ um, in addition to at FathomDJ um, all over the worldwide webosphere space. Mm-hmm.